Well, he has his whole spine tattooed on his back. And, well, that was the target. That sure was the target. And, and Darby was very glassy-eyed that time, laying on the mat, guys. Sometimes you can just check the eyes, right, Taz? Yeah, absolutely, uh, yeah. Tony. You're right, because you could see if a, an athlete is kind of gazed over in the eyes a little bit, that means he's kind of losing it. Buddy Matthews looking maybe for a last supper of his own. No, it's inverted. Texas Cloverleaf. Yeah, you don't see that hold much. That was great by Darby to get to that rope to break the hold. Darby desperately needed that. Matthews, oh, just stomp on the side of the head of Darby Allen. Matthews, though, he's taking his time. He was in that, he was in that sleeper for quite a while, Taz. It takes yeah. a while to get your win back. It does. It really, you know, a choke like that could definitely wear you down. And you know, you're not seeing Buddy Matthews being 100%, but Darby just looked at him, scratching the back of the yeah, fingerprints on the claw marks where he the nails. You don't have claws, it's not a damn bear. Oh, oh, now Darby just biting at the head of Buddy Matthews. Maybe he is a bear. <laughs> oh, Wildcat. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Hey, yes, good job, Mr. Darby. You're the best. Welcome back to AEW Dynamite. Darby Allen fighting desperately, trying to defend his TNT championship against the House of Blacks. Buddy Matthews, right before we went into break, we saw Ortiz and Sting taking out, well, fighting up the ramp and Brody taking and them Malachi, out of the ringside yeah. area. Brody King and Malachi yeah. Black. Yeah. Punch in that yeah. skull, man. Darby just yeah. drilling. Yeah, with Ortiz and Sting, it's made this a one-on-one -on -one match, which is the way it should be. But Darby, Allen, oh, Buddy and Matthews, he got spiked. We, we mentioned the feverish pace. Darby Allen has really, really been on defending that TNT championship. But Taz, one thing we touched on last night on Dark was also the jet lag. Darby competing in Japan yes. this weekend, and that, that west to east jet lag is even worse. It's brutal. It's, it's real. And that's why you see Darby Allen fighting for his life. Literally, he's injured. His TNT championship is on the line here. And uh, right now, Buddy Matthews, man, he is in bad shape, though. I got to tell you, you got to give Darby a lot of credit. Darby Allen, after battering Buddy into the barricade, now ascends to the top cross. Buddy, no, Buddy rolls through. He may take control. Come first. And Darby looking for the crucifix. Oh. Two and no. Great job by Buddy Matthews kicking out. And Taz, that's that's what makes Darby so dangerous. I mean, not only does he have so little regard for his life, but he knows how to use his size, use his leverage against larger opponents. He's a master at it, to your point, X Cal, but he literally is a master at it, hence Darby's success. And Bryce Remsburg giving both athletes the 10 count. Darby, really, I mean, he needs this as much as Buddy Matthews, this, this little pause in the action. Yeah, well, Let's see who gets to their feet first. Could possibly have the advantage, but Darby can't even put weight on that right leg at all. Darby up first, a slap to the face. Buddy, though, combination shots to the body. Don't, then, mm, I don't want to play the striking game right now with, with, with Buddy if you're Darby. I wouldn't do that. Stop on the toes. And, oh, the knee strike attempted, but Darby. And Bud creates some distance, closes in, was looking for the code red, but instead the backslide by Matthews. Tremendous scouting by Buddy Matthews. No doubt. Yeah. Oh, God. Going to buckle bomb him. Oh, oh. Power bomb into the turnbuckles. And now Buddy, the stop on the back of the head. Going to get a new TNT champion. Two. And now oh, Darby able to kick out. Skin of his teeth right there. Skin of his teeth. We know how tough Darby Allen is, Taz, but it can't last forever. No, he's a human being. I mean, uh, you know, Darby, he puts his body through hellacious pain on a night off when he's not even wrestling. That's just how he is. And this man from House of Black, Buddy Matthews, dishes out a lot of pain. Got a pump handle here doing the half. Nelson. Oh, no. Oh. Darby reverses the roll up, and Matthews able to kick out. Darby. Red. The cover. Kicks out. A couple of near falls there for sure. Darby is in desperation mode, and I don't blame him. Darby looking for the coffin drop, but 
Matthews knows it's coming. He rises to his feet and scoops off the legs of Darby. Rough landing on the top turnbuckle. Yeah, but can Matthews follow up right now? Yeah, I mean, as we saw in picture in picture, Buddy Matthews, he was trapped in that sleeper from Darby for quite some time. May still be struggling to get his win back. As Matthews looking for a superplex. Trying to power him over, but you see Darby with those body shots. Right hands to the midsection. Oh, oh, watch out. Oh, my God. Heck. Darby. Oh, my God. Scorpion death drop off the ropes. He's gonna, he's gonna retain his title yeah, here. That's how he beat Juice Robinson. And the, the footed Matthews is under the rope with two, and no! I think Matthews with his foot under the ropes, that's the only thing that allowed him to recover enough in time to kick out Exactly, him. referee Bryce Rensberg did a great job. He wouldn't go for the cover right. He wouldn't do the count him down because he knew the foot was there. Darby realized it. Darby up to the top, just open hand shots across the jaw of Buddy Matthews. Oh, what a kick to the face. Damn. Oof. Matthews, he's bent over the ropes. Darby. Oh, oh, oh he's a sitting duck. Cop and drop. Matthews comes spilling through the ropes. Darby covers, and he retains. by Darby Allen, his fourth in four consecutive weeks. How impressive, dude, really. And that cover. 